from the newsroom at news.com.au. We'll start in New South Wales and a 17-year-old boy was stabbed and killed at the Easter show in Sydney last night. A 16-year-old boy was also stabbed and was taken to hospital in a stable condition with a leg wound. A man has been arrested. In other news, Anthony Albanese has found an unlikely ally in John Howard after he stuffed up the unemployment rate in a press conference yesterday. Mr Howard actually defended Mr Albanese when asked for his thoughts about the gaffe, telling reporters, so what, that he got the unemployment rate wrong. Mr Howard can no doubt sympathise with the opposition leader. During the 2007 election campaign, he also got the unemployment rate wrong during a TV interview. Official reserve Yeah, yeah well, I've given, you, I've, given, I've given you, well, it's 6.25. 6.5, actually. Mm. Prime Minister, mm. it's going to be an interesting six weeks. Thank you for your time. Mm, thank you. Overseas now, France has expelled six suspected Russian spies. According to the French, the Russian spies were working under diplomatic cover. They were discovered after the French intelligence services uncovered a clandestine operation on its own territory. To sport now, Cricket Australia has decided who'll replace Justin Langer as coach of the men's team. According to reports, the job has been offered to Andrew McDonald, with Cricket Australia set to make a public announcement in the next 48 hours. Both one-day captain Aaron Finch and test captain Pat Cummins have shown public support for McDonald, something they never did for Langer. To entertainment news, Britney Spears has announced that she's pregnant. The singer posted on Instagram that she thought she'd gained weight during a recent trip to Hawaii, only to take a pregnancy pregnancy test and discover that she's expecting. It'll be Britney's third child, but her first with her fiancé, Sam Asghari. And finally, Miley Cyrus's parents have announced that they're getting divorced after 29 years of marriage. This will actually be the third time that Billy Ray Cyrus and Tish Cyrus have filed for divorce. They did it in 2010 and 2013, but called it off and reconciled both times. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.